that range of motion of the hand and the wrist. You can ask the patient to move into wrist flexion and extension. Go ahead and bring your wrist up towards you and then bend it down away. And I will often do um, one side at the same time as I do the other side so I can compare the two. When I'm looking at flexion and extension, I can also do it this way. Go ahead and bring your hands like this. And that way you can really tell how um, symmetric those angles are if you want to look at Flexion, go ahead and bring the dorsum of your palm together and keeping the elbows down. You can try to look at that angle if you're having trouble comparing one side to the other. For looking at radial deviation and ulnar deviation, so you can see with the camera here, you've got radial deviation and ulnar deviation. And again, you want those to be pretty symmetrical uh, bilaterally. And again, for the hand, just like we did for the rest of the body, you can look at um, active range of motion. Go ahead and bring your hand into extension. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of overpressure. So relax and let me push into you. Good. And then I'm going to relax a little bit. Now don't let me push up. Good. So again, you're looking at um, contractile, non-contractile tissues as you do each motion. Um, you can also look at finger range of motion. So through the hand, um, finger flexion, you can go ahead and see if they can functionally make a fist. That's a really good functional test. You can look at individual, if you passively have them try to flex the DIP joints, the PIP joints, and then the MC joints as they make a roof with their hand. Good. And then with the thumb, you want to look at, um, let's do the other side for a minute. So with the thumb, let's go this way. So flexion and extension here. And then you're going to be doing a deduction and a deduction. So that's like you're holding a pot can. So a deduction, a deduction, and then flexion, extension of the thumb. And one last one, opposition of the digits. Just ask your patient to bring their thumb and fingers together. They should be able to do each one separately.